A cleaner environment and a safer home. Good evening, I'm Matthew Rand. A few agencies came together in Laurel County today to take up prescription and over-the-counter drugs that are no longer needed. As WYMT's Haley Minogue found, those drugs could poison the environment or fall into the wrong hands. They drove up, handed over the two-pound bag of medicine, and then left. No paperwork, no questions. They can bring any type of prescription medication, over-the-counter medication, um, diabetic supplies, things of this nature um, that we need to get out of the individual's home for their own safety. London Police, Kentucky State Police, the Laurel County Health Department, and the Laurel County Agency for Substance Abuse Policy collaborated for a drug take back. They just simply walk in, drop their medication in the box that we have set up with them, and they leave. There's no questions asked. But these Laurel County organizations are just a small part of the bigger picture. Saturday marked a national prescription drug take back initiative. I think any way that we can safeguard not only our children, but our environment, we need to be responsible citizens and do so. Schrader also said that putting prescription medications in the toilet introduces them into our water supplies. She also expressed concerns that people can become what she referred to as accidental drug dealers. Prescription medications are very colorful, um, and so that's very attractive to um, a young person. And they'll take it just to see what it's like. Maybe they mistake it for candy, or maybe they know better and they're just curious. Working for a cleaner environment and a safer home, all in the drop of a bag. In Laurel County, I'm Haley Minogue, WYMT Mountain News. Laurel County hosts a drug take back twice a year, but there are receptacles where you can drop off unneeded medication year round. For more information, you can visit our website, WYMT.com.